Election day is almost here, and I had the opportunity to ask the candidates for U.S. Senate in South Carolina the same 14 questions. I traveled to Columbia to meet with Jamie Harrison and met with Senator Lindsey Graham in our Fox Carolina studios. Here's what they told me about fighting inequality. As a reporter, I know I've covered multiple protests. A lot of people, you know, calling for change and understanding. What are you doing to fight racism and inequality? Number one is to, when you see it, say something about it. Uh, I'll, I'd like to reform the police, but I don't think the police in South Carolina are racist. Tim Scott had a bill to bring about police reform, better training, more officers from minority communities, transparency in policing, more uh, body cameras, things like that would go a long way. How to de-escalate the situation, training in that area. Count me in for reforming the police, count me out for defunding the police. When it comes to racism, I think all of us understand how would you like it to be directed towards you. But at the end of the day, um, what I think is that we're not a racist state, we're not a racist people. We have, uh, there is, as long as there's human beings going to be around, there's going to be an element of racism, but I don't buy the idea that America's a racist nation. I sure as hell don't buy the idea that South Carolina's a racist state. Let me tell you about South Carolina. Uh, we had the first uh, Indian American governor, female governor, Nikki Haley. Tim Scott's the only African American Republican in the Senate. It's not about your color or where you came from in South Carolina. It's about the content of your ideas. Uh, so I'm very proud of my state and in our state you can go a long way if you're conservative. If you're liberal, you're not going to go very far. I know as a reporter, I covered many protests, especially over the summer, um, people, you know, calling for change. What is your plan to fight racism and inequality? Well, it's it's far time for us to bring everybody together. I think so many people are just tired of the divisions and the chaos. Uh, they're tired of folks who are uh, fanning the flames of division in, in this country. And Senator Graham's hands aren't clean with that. He's done that throughout this campaign. Uh, you know, just recently when we were up at our discussion uh, in, in Greenville, uh, you know, he said that if you're a, a black man here in South Carolina, you can do anything as long as you're conservative. What is that to say if you're the senior senator from the state of South Carolina? When you're the senator and you take that oath of office and you, uh, uh, and you put your hand on the Bible to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States and to represent the people of South Carolina, you represent all of South Carolina's people. Black folks, white folks, Native Americans, Latinos, uh, yeah, liberals, conservatives, and independents. It is not for you as a senator to choose who can succeed and who can't or to pick apart who should do what and who shouldn't. When I'm the senator of South Carolina, this is a promise I make to everyone. I'm going to fight for those folks who voted against me just as much as I fight for those who vote for me because that's the job of a United States senator. And so, uh, you know, it's time that we, we heal these racial divisions that we have in our society and move forward. I see it in our young kids. The young kids don't care about the racial, uh, the, well, who you are, who you pray to, who you love. They don't. It's the older generations that need to let go. Let go of these old anchors of the past and embrace the future of, of unity, of coming together. I think the kids can teach us a lot. <laughs> uh, and, and, and they are te teaching us a lot. And I think that's the model that we have to move forward on. To see more from Graham and Harrison, go to our Fox Carolina a news app or our Fox Carolina YouTube channel. Both candidates answer 14 questions you can watch online and in our newscast. I'll bring you updates on air leading up to Election Day.